Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this session, we will talk about the cons constructor. So before I start the video, let me talk about the points that we are going to cover in this session. We will start from what is cons constructor. Then I will talk about rules for the cons constructor. And finally, I will explain the benefits of cons constructor with the example. So without wasting time, let's get started. Now let's talk about what the cons constructor is. Basically, a constructor defined using const keyword is known as the const constructor. In case of Dart, keyword called const is used for a variety of purposes. And it's also possible to use the const keyword before defining a constructor. And whatever constructor that we write with this const keyword, it is called the const constructor. Look at this example here. We have the class called test. And inside this class, we have the constructor that is a default constructor. And before defining that one, I use the keyword called const. Now, whenever we have the const constructor, while creating an object, we can also write the const here. So I will talk about what is the effect of writing const and without writing const here. Next, uh, it creates the compendium constant object. And all objects that we create using the const constructor, whether you use the const keyword or not while creating the object, all your objects are the immutable objects. Now, let me talk about very important point related to the const constructor. Basically, const constructor creates the canonical instance, which are represented by using the canonical representation. Basically, a canonical representation is a kind of standard representation which is specially made for the const objects. All these const objects are stored in a special lookup table using the canonical signature. And whenever we create the object with same value, instead of creating the new object, the object from the lookup table is checked with the canonical signature and all that existing objects or instance are reused. Let me explain this one with an example. We have a class called point that contains two final fields x and y and inside the class we have the constructor which is the default constructor that accepts the value for x and y and you can observe here we have made this constructor as a const constructor. Now just look at the code inside the main. Inside the main, I'm creating two instances, let's say the P1 and P2. While creating the P1 and P2, you can observe I have passed the const here. And intentionally, I'm passing same value for the P1 and P2 as well. Then let me print the hash code of P1 and P2. And we have the function called identical, which will compare whether this instance uh, pointed by P1 and pointed by P2, they are equal or they are identical or not. And now we have created here again uh, two more instances, let's say P3 and P4. And for P3 and P4, intentionally, I have again the same value, let's say 50 and 60 for X and Y for P3 and P4. And again, I'm printing the hash code of P3 and P4. And I'm checking whether this instance is P3 and P4, they are identical or not using the identical function. Let me run this program and let me explain what is the reason behind uh, the output here. You can observe here, for the hash code of P1 and P2, we have the same result. This is because the P1 and P2, these are not the two different objects, means these P1 and P2 references, they are referring to the single object. Now the point here is uh, how the single object is created or what's the reason for the single object. So as I told you that whenever we create an object using this cons constructor, it creates the canonical instance. So whenever we create the same object or whenever we create the object by using the same values, so instead of creating the another object, Dart or your Flutter tries to use that existing objects. And uh, you can observe here for P1 and P2, it says me that the instance are identical. So it's saying true. Now, in case of P3 and P4, you can see uh, they have the different uh, hash code means they are not the uh, same uh, references referring to same object. Instead, they are the different references referring to different object in the memory. And uh, for this identical, it says false to me because they are not the same instances. So I hope it's clear that what is the effect of using this const constructor and what is the effect of writing this const here and what do you mean by the canonical instance. Now, if you ask me that what happens if I write say const here while creating the P3 and again for creating the P4. So let me write const again here properly. Now let me rerun the program and you can observe the magic here. For the P1, P2, I have the same hash code. It says they are identical and for P3 and P4 as well, it says the same hash code and they are the identical. Let's understand the rule for const constructor. Whenever we want to define a const constructor, make sure that all fields of that class must be the final. 
so if any of your field is a non final or let's say it is a late field so it's not possible to create the cons constructor in that class just observe here inside the class point we have x and y as a final field and happily we have defined the cons constructor now for y let me try to delete the final from here and you can observe here as we already deleted final immediately dart pad is given an error it says cannot define a cons constructor for the class with non final field even if if i try to use say late here so it's not possible so it must be the final field if you want to define the cons constructor otherwise we have to remove this const and we have to continue with the normal constructor cons constructor must be the generative constructor means in order to define the cons constructor we cannot use the factory constructor you can observe here lambda 5 we have the cons constructor and let me try to use this one as a factory so as soon as i have written the keyword called factory immediately that bad is giving me lots of errors cons constructor cannot have a body you can observe here in lambda 5 we have a cons constructor and there is no body or definition return but if i try to write let's say opening and closing curly bracket for this constructor immediately that bad gives me an error it says cons constructor cannot have a body only class containing cons constructor is instantiated using the const keyword let me explain this one with an example for this class point we have defined a constructor and which is not the const constructor but in line number 9 you can observe here while creating an instance i have used the const keyword here and dart pad is giving me an error it says that the constructor being called isn't a const constructor means if you want to create an instance by using the const keyword so make sure that this particular class must have the const constructor otherwise we cannot use this const here so let me place the const keyword here and as i place const keyword now it's completely fine to create const instance because we have a const constructor in the class benefits of const constructor is seen only and only when we use const keyword while defining our objects so right now we have seen that when i talk about the point called canonical objects we observed there that if we don't use const keyword in order to define the objects so it becomes the normal object they are non even the canonical object so there will be different objects and we can't have the benefit of constant objects let's understand the benefit or the importance of const constructor in case of jit that is in case of just in time compiler environment which is basically the development environment or development phase so if you don't know uh, how dart works in two different phase that is the development phase and the deployment phase so we have a special video regarding that one which is the how dart works so go ahead and get yourself clear that how dart works in two different phases so in case of the jit that is in case of the development phase it improves the performance of application as it creates the canonical instance let me talk uh, with some example here let's say uh, whenever we create application we have to use padding widget inside application so many times and here as a value of this padding we mostly use let's say agencies.all or maybe agencies.symmetric whatever it is so consider that in application we are using this agencies.all with the uh, 16 pixel padding from all the sides now uh, consider that we have used this particular statement 100 times in application so if you don't use const so your application will try to create 100 different instances in application and that's definitely going to degrade your application performance however if we use const in order to define this agencies.all so how many instances you are creating or how many times you are using this statement doesn't matter your dart or your flutter will create only and only one instance because it's a canonical instance as long as we have the same value let's say uh, if you have passed say value 20 then in this case that uh, your flutter is going to create another instance but make sure that for the value 16 it's not going to create another instance rather it's going to use the existing instance which is available in the memory and that definitely improves the application performance let me provide the proof of this one with an example this example might be little complex for beginner because to understand this one you must know how to write flutter application and what is basically the state pool widget and how to deal with the states so my intention is not to explain what is the state pool and all these things concept my intention is to provide the proof of statement that i just talked few second before now let me explain a code little bit here we have the import statement material then we have the main 
inside which we are calling the run app and then we are creating the instance by using the my app uh, as a my app i am just using the stateful widget you will understand why i have used the stateful widget here then we have the const constructor then all these codes here that goes then we have the nice counter variable with the value zero then we have function that increments the value of counter widget and i am doing this all inside the state set this is because whenever the value of this counter variable gets increased it has to call uh, the uh, set set means it has to rebuild my widget so that you will understand what will happen in case of rebuilding uh, with and without the constant uh, objects here then for the build i am retaining the material app here then we have a scaffold then the blank app here as a body of the scaffold inside uh, the body i am using center widget then i am using a padding just to have the padding of each inside uh, from all sides the 16 pixel padding then inside the padding as a child we have the column and inside this column i have used five different widgets here so we have the widget called let's say my text one i'm passing the value flutter here again i'm using the my text one with the same value flutter here basically the my text one is uh, my custom widget that i have created and it is the widget which is not the constant one means it is not defined with the const constructor however we have the another widget called my text two so this matrix 2 is basically similar to matrix 1 the only difference is in matrix 2 we have the const constructor and i'm creating uh, the instance using the value teacher here because i just want to explain what will happen if i'm passing the same value here. and at the end i'm just printing the value of count here then as a floating action button i'm simply using the floating action button and on press i'm calling the counter increment function that is it will count, increment the value of counter and it will call the set state so that the ui will rebuild then as a child, I'm just using the icons, the add button. We can observe here, we have the two custom widgets, my text one, which is of course defined using the stateless widget and make sure that we don't have a final for this constructor. And inside this constructor, intentionally I'm printing uh, the message called build of the text one called, then I'm printing the value of text here and just to identify the object, I'm printing the hash code here. And finally, I'm returning the text widget, whatever text I'm passing to this text one. Again, I have the same uh, class, but it has the const constructor. You can observe here. We have the const constructor for the text too. I'm passing the text, and whatever text we have, I'm simply returning this inside the build method. Again, inside the build, I have a message called build of text to call, and here I'm printing the value of text, and I'm printing the value of hash code here. So it doesn't matter if I'm passing this with the hash code or not. Let me delete this here, or it's not at all needed. Let me delete it. And now let me run the application and just observe what happens in your console. So let me just increase the console size a little bit here. Now you can observe here, we got the output flutter flutter. This is from the MyTix1. Then we have the output teacher teacher. It is from the MyTix2. Then finally we have the zero, which is actually the value of the counter variable here. Now you can observe here, uh, when uh, the UI gets built, we got MyTix1 called. This is for the flutter. Then we have some hash code. Again, we have the my text one called and we have some another hash. We can observe here hash code of this flutter and this flutter is basically different. But uh, in case of the teacher, that is when I'm calling the my text two, you can observe here we got output build of my text two called. Then we got a hash code and you can observe here again when this text two is called with the value called teacher, which is again the repeated value. You can observe here it says that the text teacher it has the same hash code which is matching with the previous hash code. So this is what I want to explain that whenever I'm creating the object by using the my text to you can observe here another instance is not get called so uh, don't worry that the build method is getting again and again but observable thing is there are no two instances for this teacher text there is only one instance however for the text called flutter as i'm using this one with the value called my text one so they are getting created separately so let me delete uh, the data from console here and when i tap on the button say plus you can observe here we go to value of this counter as one but the magical thing here is uh, the ui gets rebuilt and build method called again so observable thing is only my text one is called again and not the my text two so this is a really a magical thing it means whenever we have the constant object so they will be built only once and when the state of your application changes these constant widgets are not going to rebuild for you so let me explain it again so let me delete and everything from the console let me press the plus button again you can observe we got a value 2 here and my widgets got rebuilt but again at this time you can observe only text 1 is rebuilt and not my text 2 is rebuilt here 
if you are following my video from long time and if you have seen my previous videos you might have observed one important thing that i always try to provide the complete and detailed knowledge so let me talk a completely about this one so if i copy all this code from here and if i jump in the vs code so let me explain what will happen in case of vs code here i have opened the vs code and i have pasted the same application here and i have executed this one to save your time so believe me guys this is the exactly same code that i have copied from the dart pad so let me uh, restart this one again now you can observe here in case of dart pad for the teacher teacher that is for this my text2 we got the same instance that is we got the same hash code but you can observe here in case of the vs code i'm not getting the same hash code rather i'm getting the different hash code here let me clear my debug console and when i tap on the plus button you can observe here only my text 1 is getting called and not the my text 2 again let me clear this one and let me press this plus button again we can observe we can we have got the value 2 and only my text 1 is rebuilt and not the my text 2 now let me talk about the reason why we got two different instances of my text 2 when we run this application inside the vs code basically when we are executing this application we are in the development phase we are not in the release mode so uh, when we are in the development phase and basically when we use widgets uh, in order to create a const here means we use the constant objects in the form of widgets so your flutter won't support that identity means they are not uh, the canonical instances they are just a simple instances however if we use say normal object that is we don't have a widget we have the normal objects so it's confirmed that the normal objects will be created as the canonical instances and we can take the benefit of const here then uh, but in case of release mode that is when we release this application for final use so it's confirmed that all your constant object uh, will be canonical and there you will have the advantage of const here now you might have a big question that uh, how it happened in case of a dark pad means in case of dark pad we had a single instance of matrix 2 so basically when we run uh, that one inside a dark pad dark pad actually runs in the web environment it's not the application environment or it's not the uh, mobile application environment so that's the reason it's a web environment and there's a different representation of const there so uh, it shows uh, the instance effect for the const means we don't have to make it release application all these things that's why it work in case of the dark pad but not in case of this vs code because we are not in the release mode we are in the uh, development mode widget created as const will never rebuild when state of application changes we already seen this point uh, just a few minutes before in the example let me talk about a very important point that i have found from uh, the github so it says that when we have the aot that is ahead of time environment which is basically the release mode or the environment where we release the application so all constants objects are evaluated and they are canonicalized at the compile time then they are serialized into the snapshot so when you start the application or whenever we start the application this snapshot is loaded in the memory and all the constants objects come into existence from that particular snapshot and they are not loaded lazily means they are not loaded after some time or, or after the first use instead they are loaded uh, when we start the application then they are never garbage collected means as long as we are not going to close the application all the constant object will remain in memory and they will be reused as you are going to create objects with the same values that's it for this video see you guys in the next video if you really found this video helpful and if you really realize that i am explaining the good content with clarity and deep knowledge then don't forget to like share subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos